Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am in Disney Village at Disneyland Paris and I'm about to go into one of my favorite buffet style restaurants in Disney Village called La Grange at Billy Bob's because it's been a while since I was in and I want to see if it's still as good. So come along, hopefully it should be a delicious evening. This is Billy Bob's over here, La Grange at Billy Bob's. It consists of a buffet style restaurant. They also have a little bar area with a lounge and you can see there's people chilling here because it's happy hour actually at the moment in time but we are going up for the buffet tonight you can see here it says billy bobs happy hours are from 5 p.m until uh, 7 p.m generally speaking they sometimes have a dj party live singers etc but then lagrange the buffet uh, it's a buffet a volunteer so all you can eat buffet is open from 18 o'clock until 22 30 so only open for dinner and you can either have a reservation or you can just go for a walk up now i do have a reservation for tonight it's actually coming up very very soon so i should be going in soon but i thought i would quickly show you the menu here as well it's 40 euros for adults and for children it is 22 euros you can also get the menu billy bob snacks for which is 15 euros so yeah not too bad to be honest and you can also get your annual pass discount on it if you have an annual pass it is also included on the meal plan so if you have a disneyland paris meal plan then like range at billy bob is one of the restaurants where you can actually you know use your meal plans on but yeah 40 euros for adults not bad at all it also includes a soft drink which normally i tend to go for apple juice with that being said though, let's go to our table. That took no time at all. Lovely cast member, by the way, at the entrance. Like I said, the restaurant is actually located on the top floor of Billy Bob's, but they have so many cool things here. I just love this location here at Disneyland Paris. If you just want a drink as well, you can definitely come here. Like you saw, there's live bands here. There's a DJ party. I have so many memories here from with, you know, from olden days with my friends coming here from back in like 2013, 14, 15. But yeah, at the moment, considering it's only about quarter past 6 p.m., it doesn't feel quite as lively. But don't worry, if you come here later, it will be a very fun atmosphere for sure i love the theming by the way look at that it's all about the wild west you know billy bobs uh, i guess cowboys etc look at these i guess that's one of the bar areas but again we are just going to the buffet and there's a sign for the buffet over here like range at billy bobs so i've just given them my name just waiting to be seated now it doesn't look too too busy at the moment of course this is mainly the bar area the actual restaurant is through that door over there but Look at that, love the theming. And they've got all these photos as well over here. William Henry Harrison, ninth president of the United States. There's a lot going on here. What's that? Merci. <laughs> 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 Well, I'm at my table and I feel like it's a bit of a deja vu situation. If you haven't watched my previous Billy Bob's review video from I think January of 2022, I'll leave it down below. I was sat in the exact same location and I think honestly this area is generally where I tend to sit because it's uh, reserved for people who are either solo travellers or couples, like if there's two of you then you, you might be sat here as well. The bigger tables tend to be on the ground floor. This is one level up, which is quite cute. Anyway, my drinks have arrived already, so I decided to go for an apple juice as my soft drink that was included in the price. And then I also decided to get myself <laughs> some cold water because it's been a very hot day in the parks and I needed some cold water. That was obviously in addition to the price of the buffet. However, even with the extra bottle of water, my total came to about 37 euros. Of course, that's with the annual pass discount. But it's amazing because altogether my total came to lower than what the actual price of the buffet is, which is 40 euros. I mean, 40 is not even that bad, right? Because it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. And I'm going to show you the food in a second. The food here, in my opinion, especially if you like Mexican kind of Tex-Mex style of food, it's amazing. Anyway, let's have a look at the buffet now. I'm going to start with the entree slash starters first. There's quite a wide variety of things here. We've got a chicken, avocado and crispy onion salad. Down there, there's an ocean pearl salad as well. Loads of salads, basically. Seed salad with cranberries at some point here green and black olives with spices mexican salad all your salads if you're into salads is what you have here and actually everything looks pretty nice and fresh you've got some carrots here some more salads and etc and then here we've got let's have a look here we've got a, a terrine over here a couple of different terrines there's a pate as well we've got some roast chicken roulettes over here as well as roast ham with herbs chorizo jambon sec so dried ham as well a lot of your kind of basic things that you can get normally at the buffets here but they've got some nachos here which is great nachos guacamole salsa sauce which is amazing they've of course got some smoked salmon as well so yeah loads of loads of nice options actually 
low key I want to get myself a salad but I'm also quite full so I feel like if I get a salad I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat much and wait until I show you the main course buffet which is just over there because the food here is pretty heavy and there's a lot of it so we're starting here with I guess some kind of mac and cheese uh, officially it's called fiocchetti with parmesan sauce so there you go here we've got a vegetable stew with tomato so that's a veggie option we've got some mexican rice that looks delicious very nice we've got a beef stew with red wine lardons and carrots over here amazing again we've got some pan fried spelt with asparagus and morel mushrooms that's the one over here we've got some ganache over here very nice and then oh chili con carne that's one of my favorite parts of the menu actually or the buffet i should say so there's some pepper sauce some chili con carne they actually have a meatless one as well meatless chili that one is a vegan one um over there and then this one is the regular one with meat both are tasty i have tried both there's a little carving station here uh, some ham on the bone if you wish to get that some corn on the cob as well oh even some salmon some roast salmon so you've got uh, both a smoked salmon and roast salmon here and then you've got the ribs here if you're into ribs and honestly i'm not generally into ribs but the ribs here are delicious you've got some salsa barbecue sauce as well some uh, potato gratin over here potato and cheddar gratin these are really nice these chicken wings delicious barbecued chicken wings and then we've got chicken fajitas that's again one of my favorite things about this buffet and you can kind of make your own fajitas you can see the sauce here that's the salsa the cheddar queso cheddar sauce you've got the bread the tortillas and then that's the whole station over here so you've got some guacamole some sour cream some cheese over here some onions um, you've got everything you need basically so that is it for the main courses so you've seen the entrees the starters you saw the main courses everything does look fantastic i think i might get myself some salad because actually it might be a good thing if i don't eat too much main course i'm gonna get myself a bit of salad first then come and get myself some main courses and then we'll see about this i've got my first plate here it's just some salad you know some tomatoes lettuce and cucumbers some carrots some cheese some croutons but i wanted to quickly show you this little sauce section as well so if you want to pick yourself some mayonnaise up or um there's some salt and pepper ketchup etc or even some slices of bread then you can definitely do so and they actually have some oh look at that sweet corn cake so i think this is just like cornbread and we might have to get some of those later on but for now i'm going to go and enjoy this beautiful salad there you go my first plate i don't think i'm going to bother showing you me eating this because you all know what tomato tastes like and everything on my plate. I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm going to try and eat it quickly as well because I want to get some main courses and I'm honestly already worried about how much I'm going to be able to eat. I definitely want to get myself some of the fajitas so hopefully I'll be able to eat as much as possible. Also, big shout out to one of my lovely subscribers, Lauren, who gave me this in the park today. Lauren is one of like my most loyal subscribers. I've known the girl since 2017. She came to my very first and only meetup that I've ever done and yeah i saw her again today after so long in the parks and she gave me this oh it's amazing i low-key feel like i should probably take it off because i'm in a restaurant but i also love it so much maybe i will take it off though i know i said there's no point in me talking about the salad but the salad is honestly really good as far as salads go like obviously it's quite basic what i went for but everything's you know tastes quite fresh i'm enjoying it i'm also the type of person who doesn't normally like much sauce or any sauce really on my salad so some sauces i can go with like obviously caesar salad sauce that's lovely but I don't feel like I need to put any kind of real sauce on it. Maybe some like vinegar or something. That's all I ever need. And this doesn't even need that. It's really good. So the salad was lovely. But as I said, the thing that I'm most excited about, of course, is the main course. And I'm definitely going to go back for a second plate. Hopefully if I've got the space. But I decided to go for some of the Mexican rice because it looked delicious. And I don't think I've ever tried it here before at Lagrange. Uh, this was the beef stew with like wine sauce and some carrots in there. Of course, I went for the potato gratin one chicken wing <laughs> and then one of the cast members there decided to give me two little corn the cubs i only obviously wanted one but he was like take another one beautiful like why not why not and of course i've got one of the ribs as well i've had the ribs before i've had the chicken wings before um they're really good the potato gratin also lovely but the rice i'm very intrigued about so hopefully it's gonna be good i'm looking forward to it you know what i think i want to try the ribs first because i already know i'm gonna enjoy them and they look beautiful so let's go this is so good so flavorful the meat almost comes off the bone like it's so easy to bite into and it has a lot of nice flavors to it as well it's a little bit on the spicy side too not like by own by no means fully spicy just it has a bit of spice to it, a little bit of a kick to it which in my opinion makes it even better i'm gonna try some of the rice next the mexican rice so good i just love mexican food this is one of the reasons why i love like range at billy bob so much because 
it's primarily a Tex-Mex Mexican style of you know restaurant and the food is really good and it's all you can eat as well so you can always go back you can try bits and bobs from different things you don't have to commit to one kind of food only yeah it's delicious this is the beef stew with the wine sauce and carrots and I've put some of the rice on my um, uh, spoon as well with it so hopefully it will be good the beef stew is lovely it's not necessarily to my taste though I'm not sure why I just I think the, the sauce the wine sauce is a little bit too strong for me you know I when I eat meat I quite like the taste of meat to still be somewhere there do you know what I mean and the meat itself is cooked really well but unfortunately I'm just not getting the flavor of the meat too much because the wine sauce is too overpowering some people would love it it's not my personal favorite though so at least I know at least I tried it now I won't be bothering with it next time potato gratin next wow they do potato gratin so well in most of the restaurants here at Disneyland Paris I mean we are in France this is what they're good at so yeah, really good. And then we've got the chicken wing. I just realized I forgot to get myself mayonnaise, even though I showed you all those mayos. I have to go and get some later because I do normally like at least a bit of mayo with my um, chicken wings, but this is good. The chicken wing is cooked deliciously, very nice, not too barbecue either, which I'm a fan of. I don't like it when they put too much barbecue sauce on things. They do have barbecue sauce separately as well, if you want to put more, you know, depending on your taste. It's just not my thing. And then last but not least, we've got a bit of the little corn on the cup situation here which again I feel like there's not much point in me trying this it's just gonna be a corn but it's good it goes well with the meal I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my first plate now and then head back to get myself hopefully some chicken fajitas and maybe something else as well we'll have to wait and see well my eyes were definitely more hungry than my stomach because this is my second plate and it's definitely gonna be my last one we might get one or two desserts we'll see but this is definitely a very full place so I went with the chili con carne, this is the meat one, but I kind of wanted to try the vegan one as well. So I've got the bit of a vegan one, the meatless one, and the meat one too. This You can kind of see the contrast actually. That's the vegan one, that's the meat one. And then some of the cheese sauce over there. We've got some sour cream, some guacamole, a couple of tortillas under there with some nachos. And then really the rest is just a fajita. So I've got a few, I think it's four chickens actually. Four chicken breast pieces here. Got some cheese on there, like I said, sour cream, some little onions as well. This is an absolute feast. Like you're not gonna go hungry if you come to Billy Bob's. There's just so much on offer. And as I said, so much like good heavy food as well. Very much cowboy style food, right? So I've got my plate here and that was also the thumbnail probably. For the video, there's a lot. It's a big plate, big old plate. Let's try some of the meaty chili con carne first. It's delicious. I love chili con carne. And then a the bit of the vegan one too. That's the vegan one as you can see. Doesn't have any meat in it. It feels a little bit brighter. I'm guessing there's just more sauce you know what I think I really prefer the vegan one I don't know what it is I feel like maybe the normal regular chili here the meat is nice and all but you don't need it you don't need it in a chili it's that weird to say I'm glad I actually got myself some of the vegan chili so at least you guys know as well if you're coming here and if you're vegan you have that option of the vegan chili and it is delicious there was also a couple of other vegetarian vegan options as you I showed you as well hopefully you would have seen them but yeah I surprised myself don't get me wrong, the meat chili is also good, it's just my preference. Maybe it's because I'm used to the one at Last Chance Cafe now. I'm just now, I've become accustomed to vegan chilies, so I just don't need the meat anymore. In any case, both the chilies are delicious. I've just made myself my first chicken fajita now. Um, there's some sour cream, some chicken, some... I need to put some cheese on it as well, some guacamole. And yes, there was some guacamole on the plate as well. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, because it was probably hidden under loads of other food. But there you go, that's going to be my first chicken fajita from the chicken fajita station so simple but so so beautifully delicious i would definitely say that the chicken fajitas here at lagrange are my favorite things to get from billy bob's if you're coming here and if you love chicken fajitas if you're not averse to a little bit of spice then go for the chicken fajitas at least try one of them you can make it your own you can put whatever you want on it which is great as well you can customize it they've got their own station there the cheese sauce is amazing, the guacamole, everything. And you can even put some, I think I might put some rice in there, some of the Mexican rice that I've still got left over. But yeah, chicken fajitas here, excellent. Right, let's go have a look at the dessert selection before we leave this restaurant. I have eaten a lot and I don't think I'm gonna get myself a dessert, but I thought I would show it to you anyway. So we've got this beautiful 30th anniversary cake here. Down there is an apple tart, looks good. We've got a fruit salad over there. We've got, uh, what is this? Custard latinas. It might be a Portuguese thing, maybe, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments down below. So we've got some cherry pie over here. What's this one here? Some pecan pie. Actually, this one's a pecan pie. This is just some kind of a custard thing, perhaps. We've got some yogurt as well, if you wish to get some yogurt. Here is the more exciting selection of the desserts. I love that logo, by the way. 
So we've got some uh, fruit jellies. That's not too exciting to be fair, but these ones are nice. The chocolate pudding and banana cakes. Up there we've got a raspberry filled cake as well. We've got the 30th anniversary stand of chocolate cakes. Up there is a chocolate cookie. It says three chocolate cookies actually, there you go. 30th anniversary macarons. We've got chocolate vanilla. Again, this is all the 30th anniversary desserts that you've probably seen in most of the, most of the restaurants here. Um, the buffet restaurants anyway and then mini chocolate noisette beignets so just little mini beignet donut things some brownies and then these ones look good actually look at that choco hazelnut filled cake if i were to get a dessert this one would probably be the one that i would go for but like i said unfortunately i am genuinely so full too full in fact from my two main courses and the little salad that i had as well there's loads of food over there as well just a selection of fruits if you want to get that and then we've got some more nice things here actually look at that this is a chocolate mousse this is, I think, what I tried last time I was here in January of 2022. It's some kind of uh, creme brulee chocolate mousse cake type thing. We've also got a strawberry flavored jelly. This is the red thing over here. Here we've got a mini pastry with red berries and crunchy praline. That's the cute little square red things here. Some uh, creme slightly salted caramel flavored cream. Okay. Chocolate fondant cake. And then a selection of cheeses so there you go not a bad selection of desserts by any means whilst we're here i thought i'd quickly show you the children's section as well so they do do some regular normal plain pasta i think that's some kind of empanada over there is it a cheese empanada yeah cheese and tomato empanada some tomato sauce they do some meatballs some green beans you can kind of see it up there some chicken nuggets so if you love chicken nuggets or if your children love chicken nuggets if you're a picky eater basically you're going to be okay at this restaurant at Billy Bob's. So with that being said, it is time to slowly but surely go down the stairs because we are on the second floor, don't forget, and leave the restaurant. Honestly, I'm so full. Um, and I have some thoughts about Billy Bob's now that I've revisited it after about a year and a half. So I'm back on to Disney Village now. It's actually about 7.40 p.m. now and it's still nice and sunny. The weather is beautiful. I love the summer slash spring months here in Disneyland Paris, but let's talk a little bit more about Billy Bob's, like range at Billy Bob's, which is one of the, well, one of my favorite restaurants here, one of my favorite buffet style restaurants. Is it still my absolute favorite buffet style restaurant though? And the answer to that is, I don't think so. And I'm really sad to say it, I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still enjoy this buffet. It still probably would make it into my top five favorite buffet restaurants in Disneyland Paris. And please bear in mind that when I say favorite restaurants, I'm talking about only buffets. I'm categorizing in different categories and the buffets I've put together. And uh, Billy Bob's is one of my favorite buffet restaurants, but table service restaurants, the whole other category. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know what it was. I think the food, this is the thing. So you don't have a very wide selection of food. The food that's there is mainly Tex-Mex. So a lot of meats, a lot of carbs, you know, potatoes, nachos, things like that. Fajitas, there's chicken there as well. Pastas. So there's not a lot of variety. So really, I can't easily recommend this uh, buffet restaurant to just anybody. If you don't like that kind of food, if you're not into Mexican food, it just might not be to your taste to be fair. You might not really get much out of it. It's not like some of the other restaurants like Plaza Gardens that has a variety of things or downtown restaurant over at Hotel New York that has a lot to offer. Just the variety is a little bit lacking, I feel like. But the food that they do have, in my opinion, is really good, especially for a buffet restaurant. It's good. There's plenty of it and the quality is good enough for me anyway. It tastes delicious. I enjoy it. And there's a lot of good Tex-Mex slash Mexican food available. And the desserts also look nice. And I remember the last time I was here in January, I had some kind of chocolate cake, coffee cake that tasted amazing. I'll leave the link down below if you want to check out my last review of Billy Bob's and so you can maybe get a more of an overall picture. But yeah, I don't know. I'm glad that I came back because a lot of you guys had come recently and said that, you know, you didn't think it was quite as good. But having said that, I also had loads of you come and say, Sam, you know, I just came from Billy Bob's and it was amazing. Thank you for your recommendation. So I've been getting a lot of mixed reviews from you guys over the past year and a bit. And I was really keen to come back and try it myself to see how I feel about it and I think I can see where some of you who don't like it are coming from because if I'm trying to be objective if I'm not trying to just make it all about myself I love Tex-Mex food if I'm generalizing it yes the variety of food isn't the best there. does that mean it can't be the number one best buffet restaurant here in Disneyland Paris possibly for me it's still one of my favorites just probably not my top favorite I think I do prefer Agrobar Cafe in Disneyland Park a uh, downtown restaurant in New York Hotel that's probably also a little bit higher for me than this one even Chuck Wagon, Chuck Wagon Cafe in the Hotel Cheyenne. That really took me by surprise when I visited there in September with my friend Mendy. There's a vlog of that as well, you can check it out. Because they also have some Tex-Mex, like Mexican food in that one. It's a bit cheaper than the Billy Bob's, if I'm not misremembering. 
and they have more variety of things like loads of vegetarian options as well so check out that video after you finish watching this but with that being said i hope you enjoyed this video anyway i still do rate billy bobs it's just not my absolute favorite recommendation when it comes to buffet restaurants but i'd love to hear your thoughts if you visited billy bobs before it's just here behind me do you enjoy it and if not what's your favorite disneyland paris buffet restaurant i'd love to hear your thoughts but i'm gonna go now thank you so much for watching follow me on instagram and subscribe for more videos as well and i'll see you in the next one bye bye